Welcome back to A Game of Thrones. Last episode, we managed to get independence at long last for the Iron Islands, and we are Wolf Great, the Great of the Iron Islands, probably the best character we've ever had. Hang on a minute. This isn't right. Since when was he fruitful? This guy was... Oh, no. This is a cat? He's not a cat. What has happened? Ah, oh, fucking mods. Alright, well, our father is a cat now, so we're just going to have to deal with that. I've added a new mod to the game, which has sort of affected the traits somewhat, by the looks of it, anyway, because I don't remember playing as a cat, but there we go. Uh, I've rated back our brilliant trait, because I don't want years of eugenics work to go to waste. Now, the mod I've added into the game is something I've added so that when we overthrow the Republic, we're not losing the core aspect of this playthrough, which is obviously gold and iron. I've added in the uh, Great Trade League, which is one of the most popular society mods actually around, and probably one of the best made ones, in my opinion. It's essentially a uh, society all about trading, funnily enough, and making profits and getting different golds. It's an incredibly well-made mod. Like, really well done. So, we can actually apply to join that, but we have to leave it a little bit longer because, um, essentially, when you add it to a new save game, you have to wait a while for members to join it and for it to get set up properly. There's a little pop-up just that comes up at the start of the game reminding you of that. Um, but just something I'm going to be cautious with. We'll let some time tick. And then we'll see what it's all about. But I'm excited to play that because I've actually not seen it before. So this episode, what we actually want to do is try and overthrow the Republic, obviously. Uh, we need 2,000 prestige, which we're actually not far off of. And we need to rule for 15 years. We've already got the diplomacy of 18. Why is our diplomacy of interest? 20. We're actually a really good character. I forgot how good we were. Um, I think besides that, we've got everything in order. So we can turn it into primogeniture, full succession. We can still do the trading aspect of things via the society... And we've achieved, you know, some of our goals, obviously, with independence, which means we can finally go raiding. Now, what I've done is I've gone around the world and I found high-value raiding targets. So, not this guy, actually. Oh, you're on Pike. He was the, the Greyjoy that we're trying to kill off. He's, God knows what's happened to him. He's had an interest in life by the looks of it. Anyway, um, I've gone ahead and I found a lot of valuable raiding targets with rare artifacts that we want because they're rare artifacts and I want them. Um, so, obviously, first on the list, we've got Lord Ormond uh, of House Dane, who have uh, Dawn, which is essentially a sword made of a meteorite, apparently as powerful as Valyrian steel. Now, it's a really rare sword that only certain members of um, House Dane are allowed to wield, so this guy's not allowed to wield it, which is why he doesn't have it equipped, it's just sitting in his uh, treasury. So, we're going to go and steal that. We'll never be able to use it, but it's an exceptionally rare and legendary sword that's been around for thousands of years, so I'd quite like it on my mantelpiece. Who else have we got? We've got uh, Rigel Shieldbreaker of uh, House Pinesong here, a wildling beyond the wall. He actually has a lot of good artifacts, but more importantly, he has Dark Sister, which is one of the two, it says they're one of the two Valyrian Steel swords bought from Dragonstone. So this is one of the two swords that uh, Aegon the Conqueror and his wives used to uh, conquer Westeros. So that's a really valuable artifact as well. And I've just sort of got a list here of uh, various artifacts that we want to steal and uh, keep for ourselves as a collector of obviously very important valuable things now if we go raiding obviously there is a chance that when we burn down holdings that we get their treasuries and their artifacts within which is what we're going to try and do so i've marked a load of really important obviously valerian steel for the most part but of course if we look at uh, king michael here he's got a load of awesome stuff so dragon glass knife about 12 different crowns he's got a uh, now there are dragon skulls somewhere so um Skulls of the Targaryen dragons when they conquered the Iron Throne. I don't know where they've gone to. Maybe he had them destroyed? Weird. I'll have to see if I can find them uh, in between episodes. Because they could be anywhere at this point. And that's the plan. We're going to try and get ourselves some uh, some fancy trinkets. So let's go ahead and join the trade going here. I'm really excited to try this. I've never actually used it before. We have received a letter about your interest in joining our great trade guild. You must know that we don't care what you believe in or what you're entitled to. We care about what we can achieve for ourselves by ourselves. Do you agree to be seen as our equal? Even if it means being shunned by people that believe you're breaking a class barrier. If you are, let's trade symbolically. So that's kind of fitting for the whole Ironborn thing, right? So we gain a gold and lose a gold. Sure. Um, join the Great Trade Guild Society. There we are. We are a peddler. Gives us the option to go to a market. Spend some of your assets to venture into the market, triggering several trading opportunities. We can also ask them for a loan at 20% interest. Now, what's the interest given to us by the Iron Bank? That's 25% interest. So this is actually the best loan we have available to us. Obviously, the Iron Bank is going to give us 1,000 gold, which is different. Um, 
And must be paid back two years later with 20% interest, uh, if not in debt at the time it was taken. Right, got it. Okay. And the next option, trader. We won't go through all of them now, but I'll look through the next level as well. Use goods in a province. It lets you right-click on one of your province holdings to sell trade goods for various bonuses. That's very cool. So I wonder if we could potentially sell some goods, maybe on a religious incense or something like that, to boost our conversion chance. That would be very cool. Uh, contact affiliated artisans allows you to hire craftsmen with assets to transform trade goods into more profitable items. Right, so I assume with that you'd be able to turn, say, gold into jewelry or iron into weaponry. Okay, interesting. This seems like a really cool mod. Very well made. Um, I, I did try it very, very briefly when I did a CK2 Plus run through. God, that had to be like a year ago now. When societies first came out, anyway. So, honestly, don't know a huge amount about it. So this is an adventure. Now, the problem with having so many people on our list of things to steal list is that we're going to be notified about every little thing they do in their court. So why don't we start off by, and because we're independent now, we can actually do this, by going to steal uh, the Sword of Morning, Dawn. And let's raise our troops. And now probably what we want to do, actually, to make this whole thing more streamlined in the future is... I was going to say set a rally point, but you actually can't embark on ships that are moving, can you? So, never mind. Ignore me. Um, let's do that. Let's have our whole fleet just meet over here. Saying that, we should probably have them actually meet on an island so I can mount them as raiders, genius. Alright. Um, something we probably want to sort out, now that I think about it before we leave, is succession. So I've marked this lady as our designated heir because she's honestly, out of all the options we've got, she is the best one, which doesn't really say a lot. She's um, good at diplomacy, obviously. She's melodious voice, grey eminence, um, trusting as well, patient, gives diplomacy. However, she's not a very good character all around. She's probably going to get assassinated very quickly. Seven intrigue plus trusting is a really bad combination. So um, we do need to pretty much have an heir as soon as possible. Now, wife is, what's she like? I haven't looked at her yet. Oh, she's actually incredible. Uh, charismatic negotiator, not great. Twin, irrelevant. Uh, brilliant, kind, charitable, diligent, and just. All are good traits. She's of House Valen here, which is obviously uh, one of the subscriber houses. She's a she's a great character. Okay, I'm fine with that. Uh, I wonder what the chance to inherit Brilliant is. I haven't actually checked. I imagine it's quite low, but they do stack together from each parent, so I don't know. I'd assume a, a conservative 20% chance might be good. So we'll try and have as many children as possible. Now, we are trying to, what, build a war chest? Um, we need a thousand gold, which will take us a while. So I'm actually going to cancel that and instead, uh, have five children. Now we also have a lover, don't we? I remember this. It's our sister is also our lover. I really don't want them to have kids together because obviously we're running the risk firstly of, uh, inbred. Also, she's a stammerer, which could be inherited. She's just not a good character. We can take her as our wife though. Um, no, I think we're going to break up with Alaska. And we'll just stick with our regular brilliant wife. Let's send her some gold to apologize for banging our sister. I feel like that's appropriate. Um, we go for family focus as well. So my kinswoman, ugly daughter whore, uh, wants to duel. Who did she want to duel, sorry? Cora whore, our cousin. Our, our cousin? Our cousin. Sure, do it. Why not? And we could burn an apostate here. Is she ironborn? She is. Burn her. I like they've got a little burnt symbol for her there. Alaska claims she started to show signs of pregnancy after your last night of log making, but she claims she would drink some moon tea to prevent any scandalous birth. So moon tea uh, prevents pregnancies, essentially. Uh, yep, at least the secret is safe. We're now broken off with her. I kind of don't want that happening ever again, so I might even insult her. Let's insult her. Um, where is the button for that? Send insult. You have the letter for Alaska composed and sign it. In short, I despise you. You're a foul cow and your wanton trollop ways repulse me. Signed. Iron King, Wolf Great, the Great of House Hall. That would teach that foul cow. Feel like we've uh, done a good job today. Okay. Let's lead some troops. Now, can we lead our own troops? Uh, 14 Marshall. It's not ideal. We also don't have a good air. So, maybe when we get a decent sun or something, I will be more tempted to lead troops. But until then, actually, we don't really need, now that I think about it, 210 boats. Why don't we put down our own fleets? Just so we're not paying upkeep on them. That's a bit better. All right. Let's go steal. Dawn, the Sword of Morning. Now, he is in the Torrentine, which is here, I think. Yeah, Starfall. Oh, let's get ourselves some treasure. While we wait for some events to happen here. Now, what do we got to do? We've got to go to the market. Uh, why don't I mark that special interest so we know when we can do that? There we go. This is a really well-made mod. Look at this. This is great. Um, Temporally transform the Revolt Risk map mode to show if a 
province is a potential target to send a caravan to. Interesting. Start building a warehouse. Right, so that's for obviously storing our uh, our goods, I assume. That's for have quest, have a warehouse. Okay, sure. Uh, ask for a line or obviously go to market. Let's mark go to market because that's one of our available decisions. We'll mark that as special interest. Why are we hostile with the Iron Throne? Is that just from where I've raided them before? Um, don't know why. Oh, yeah, there we are. We'll last another 1,204 days. So we're hostile for the Iron Throne for quite some time. Now, if we get these guys to move... There we go. All right, let's do it. I want this sword. What is garrisons like? We can siege it. It's going to be difficult, though. Can we do with a dragon? That would help out a lot. My wife is pregnant. Hey, that's a good start. All right. Uh, and how long? It's going to take a very long time. Maybe we could go to the market in the meantime, eh? So what have we got here? Children lack an education focus. Our, what is this? Our daughter? Our sister. Um... I don't really want to try and do an intrigue, just in case she gets a bit uh, ambitious, let's put it that way. And we can go to the market. We could also go on a foreign tour and go reaving. So after we've finished with this siege over here, I think we've got a lot to do. Let's go to the market while we wait, though. This guy's clearing your purse is full. A manservant has prepared a cart for you with a strong horse to transfer any goods you might buy or sell. Let's head to the market. The market is lively and ready for business. Are you buying or selling? I assume we're buying. We haven't got anything. There are lots of shops, but not enough time to browse them all. Are you more interested in buying the treasures from the depths of the earth, the riches harvested in the soil, the gifts from the hunt and livestock, or the results of work of artisans? Um, well, seeing as one of our future options is to convert lesser materials into higher level materials, why don't we go ahead and buy stone, steels, gems, silvers, and gold? And we have an option here. Um... All right, and it even tells you what they do if you use them on a province. So we can buy some stone, which reduces our build time, build cost, and gives us fort levels. Right. Makes sense. Uh, we can... What does that do? Just That's just straight up a loss of gold. Um, create steel ingots, giving our units attack and defense. Right. So obviously we're making better weapons with this. Lose 114 gold. And terrain influence lose our 19.1 gold. I don't know what that means, but okay. Oh, right, I assume we lose extra gold because perhaps there isn't much steel in Lonely Light or something like that. Um, or we can take gold, which is uh, 421 gold we lose there. Uh, we lose National Tax Modifier as well. We gain Economy Tech Points, which are irrelevant because obviously there's no tech points in this. We get plus 10 tax. Interesting. So that will actually pay for itself relatively quickly. How long does that last? That's the real question. And retinue maintenance is down. Why don't we buy some, uh... Why don't we just buy some steel for now? Just because I don't want to sacrifice our tax modifier. Just to see how it works. So there we go. We got some... Um, Look at our inventory here. There we are. Crate of steel ingots. Can be used to increase the effectiveness of your soldiers. Prices influenced by prosperity, wars, and terrain. Okay, interesting. Now I wonder then... If we can also buff up the terrain in our capital somehow. Uh, I'm just seeing if there's any temporary traits or anything like that. Maybe there's a way to... Uh, I don't know. Maybe there's a way to increase our terrain in that case. As long as rings get bold and they're actively trying to get poor quality goods in your domain. Free goods are good goods. We're getting smuggled gold. Uh, which has a chance of increasing stuff. Always oh, say increase the guard. What do we want to do here? I think poor quality goods sounds like, in the long term, it's a bad thing. Because it seems like to only be a positive thing. I'm going to say increase the guard. Uh, reports about the highway of robber bands get more and more frequent, sending caravans to be, will be more complicated. Um, higher additional guards, obviously. This thieves guild is already doing work in your domain. They're beginning to intercept goods you're trying to sell in the territory. Send them in. Alright, so I imagine we're getting all these events because we went into a huge amount of debt with our last character. So, that makes sense. Okay. And I assume once we get rid of those, you know, temperate modifiers on provinces, then it will sort that out. Greetings, Peddler Wolf Great the Great. I cannot but notice you have no proper storage method for your trade goods. Sure, so I imagine we now have the ability to build a warehouse. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, we can... Build my own warehouse. We could get... 50 gold. Okay, I assume that's just a refund starting. You run a used building. Uh, I'll build my own warehouse. Yeah, definitely. 
So this is very similar to, I guess, the Hermetic Society ability to build a laboratory. Um, an architect laid down a basic blueprint with a list of materials they need to build the warehouse. If you are missing materials, he will have to have some delivered by his partners. Okay, right. So if we'd have bought, say, wood or stone, I assume we'd have got this a lot cheaper. I'll say, unfortunately, I have nothing. We had a son, a bastard son with our sister called Noahide Fred Hoare. Um, and he did come out with that stammer, which is exactly what I did want to get. I'm going to say, uh, let's give him duty because it's terrible. And then I'll denounce him. Definitely not mine. I don't know why she still had that child. I thought she drank moon tea. Maybe it, maybe there's a chance it doesn't work. I'm not sure. All right, let's build our warehouse. Uh, do I want to back this guy? Aaron Martel? No, absolutely not. And uh, some relative of mine, Sky. He's got some weird traits. Look at this. Um, got married? Yep, good for you, pal. And the question is, are we still proselytizing? That's what I need to keep an eye on because it's something I keep forgetting. Yeah, we're not. Um, I think Blue Promises are the ones we haven't converted. Am I right? Let's just take a look at that. No, so actually Blue Provinces are the ones we've converted and they're owned by a member of our faith. So actually what we want to convert are the Stripey Provinces. So, proselytize there, why not? Um, we could have proselytized Pipe there, I suppose, because we hold that, but it counts the Ironborn Holy Site, so it's a lot harder to tell what religion it is just at a glance. Alright, Lord Treasurer, uh, is that really the best we've got? 14 Stewardship? Let's see if we can hire someone new. We could also look through our realm, because now we've got a decent realm size, I suppose. If we go join court, yes. Search everyone. Wow, okay. Let's hire someone then. Um, deploy a new court here. And we'll go for a Master of Coin. Bormund, you are shit, but I'm going to keep you around just because you've got Midas touched. So you could at least educate some children or something. Sure, we'll put... Is that my wife? Yeah, it is. We'll put my wife as a Master of Coin then. Uh, brace of love, I feel for my wife. That seems appropriate. We had a son, Uragon. Didn't come out very well at all. No brilliant traits. So I'm not very impressed. You must attempt to save my shitty, shitty son. All right. And uh, let's get you. You are collecting coin. I want to just build some more things while we've got some coin laying around. I wanted to keep some just in case we did those trade goods. Actually, it's quite expensive. Oh, we seem to have lost all of our buildings. Huh. Ha <laughs> ha. You know what? I'll worry about that for next time, eh? We'll cross that hurdle when we get there. Uh, why am I even paying that crack? Yeah. Good idea. Are we going to be able to take the sword? Shit. We actually might do it. I thought they'd have sent men to stop our siege because they've only got 500 less than us. So they could have just charged us with those armies there, for example, and uh, probably killed off enough men to stop us sieging. But we've done it. Did we steal the sword? I don't think so. No, we definitely did not. Oh, well. It was a good attempt. We got a decent amount of gold out of that, though. 71 gold. Sure, I'll take it. All right, let's go to the next person. Who have we got? Rigel Pinesong. Now, this should be much, much easier. Where is he? He's actually part of the Wildlings attacking the wall right now. Um, the issue is he's unlanded, which causes some issues in that we can't... Uh... It's not like we can just siege his capital. We might even need to kidnap him and seize it from him when he's in our prison. Uh, not going to get much chance on that. I'm actually going to unmark him special interest in that case. Now, we can find any Valyrian steel when we want from this option in the Intrigue menu here. Show owners of Valyrian blades. And that will show us everyone who's got some. We're on that list somewhere. Uh, third from the bottom. We have Kago's Folly. All right, let's try someone else then. Grizzle Tarly. Yeah, this seems appropriate. So she has uh, Heart's Bane. Which, for those of you who watched the show, is the sword that uh, Samwell stole from his dad. And they live in Horn Hill. That's traditionally their capital. They've got a lot of land. Wow. Okay, but let's go burn down Horn Hill. Now, they might actually have way too many men for us to do this. I think they do. Do we want to improve our warehouse? Um, possibility to improve it with luxury goods. Now, we have steel, so maybe we can improve it. No, we can't. We can use gold to make impressive golden armor. Incense to give it a mysterious feeling. Silk to make banners representing the great houses. Or line up the office walls with bookshelves. Right, I see. Okay. That's really cool. That's a cool feature. So what does that do for us? Warehouse. Here we go. Stewardship plus one. Awesome. Okay. That's, that's a, that was definitely worth it. 
I think we should try upgrading it in that case and see what happens. Let's go to market. Uh, let's buy some. What do we want to buy? We want to buy gold. I was saying that. Can we even afford the gold? No, we can't. Um, instead, I will buy the incense. Let's try that again. Uh, go to market. How long do we do that? Oh, it cost us 50 assets. Whoops. My mistake. We've got plenty to spare, but just a bit of a shame. So, stewardship actually gives us a hell of a lot of uh, total gain there. The influence is now 34% up from 3%, which is nice. And we're next in line to be guild master. We could have this man killed, and then we'd immediately take uh, possession of the guild. Seems appropriate that an emperor level uh, stewardship title would... Uh, I think we're about to be crushed. Run? Whoops. Well, you know what? We tried. <laughs> Alright. Um, let's go with this one. Just because it's the best option to take there. We'll just have these guys go around raiding. Preferably not there as that army's about to catch us. Run. Run faster. Nope. Not fast enough, apparently. We do need to buff up our own troops before we can do a lot of uh, efficient raiding anyway. Hmm, I'm concerned about this building mod not working. Maybe I'll try and fix that. Alright, I've re-enabled the, um, the building mod. I updated it to the latest version, but actually just forgot to enable it in the launcher, so that was a silly mistake. Now I hope our save game has not removed all of the buildings. Oh no. <sighs> okay then, right. Let's get back to work building up all those things we lost. Luckily, I only focused really on Pike and Lonely Light, so um, not a huge loss. However, I will focus entirely on castles this time, so that when we overthrow the Republic, like I said before, we're not losing a lot of my investments. Let's go for peasant farms. Well, that is, um, that is a huge one. Oh, they're trying to increase council power. Now, we're actually not far off of being able to... Oh, we could completely abolish the council. Right. Now, I wasn't... I, I did check briefly before we started playing on this session today, just to see if we could... Now, the only reason we couldn't is because I haven't been running for long enough. The council weren't huge fans of me. They were still discontent from, obviously, the succession. Now they like me. Let's win this war. Let's overthrow the council completely. Um, the Iron House is at state of war. We should send ravens rallying the lords. At, yeah, whatever. They will surely honor their obligations. Now, here is the issue. All of our men just died raiding. Uh, we've got 138 men. Huh. They've certainly picked the right moment for this, haven't they? Luckily, thanks to our raiding, we've got enough men now to raise some mercenaries. Now, how many men does Harlaw have? Because it's just Harlaw that's declared war on us. Lord Reaver Degon has uh, 1,700 men. So two bands of mercenaries, in theory, should win this for us. Um, I'm going to hire three just to be on the safe side. Because I really don't want... If they get lucky, if the dice just happen to roll in their favor, it means I've got to re-empower the council, and that's going to set us back a long time. Whereas, where we stand right now, we're only one step away from being able to completely abolish it. So, I'd rather play it safe. Alright, we haven't got great commanders anymore. Now, I have... There is an option in this mod, which I'd love to see in the base game. Uh, which is delegating the granting of honorary titles. So, your honorary titles, like, um, the, the ones that are irrelevant. Like, State Inquisitor, or Court Tutor, or Handmaiden. They'll automatically be given out to um, courtiers or vassals that have a low opinion of you. So we can name an apprentice trader here. Now that's something to do with the trade lead. Trade league. <laughs> um, experience for tutoring. The apprentice will help his mentor. Right. Uh, sure, let's let's make our sister our apprentice in that case. Again, very similar to the Hermetic Society. Well, let's kill this war and overthrow the Republic. So we do have to rule for another... How long have we been playing as this guy? Let's have a look. House Hall. Let's have a look at the history of the title instead. I always click that. I didn't even notice. So, we were elected, uh, 8393. So, we've got to rule for another 12 years, yeah. Okay, that's fine. That's not too long in the grand scheme of things. We're only going to be, what, in our 40s at that stage? Yeah. So, not a huge problem. Let's take out this stack here and then siege his capital, I think. Now, luckily, I own a lot of the land in the Iron Islands. Like, almost all of it. Which is why we're not getting any other rebellions happening right now. Um, and the vassals who have rebelled. Like, this guy is uh, just taking 
He's not taking sides, understandably. He is Guild of Reaver, but he is Ironborn. So, does make sense. I don't care about Michael Brathian. You know what? I am going to untick all of these guys just because they're slowing the game that much. I'll just make a mental note. Why did you get back on the boats? Don't ever do that. Um, I'll just make a mental note of the guys who want to raid. I can always come back to this video and double check the list. Uh, what do we want? City Vassal Opinion or Feudal Vassal Opinion? Probably Feudal Vassal Opinion at this stage. Just because our Feudal Vassals, for the most part, are going to be... Um, are going to be Ironborn. So we want to gain back whatever opinion we can where we can. Let's kill these armies. No, 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 no. This is not what I wanted. Okay, on the boats. Iron King Wolfgar the Great. After listening to the advice of my bannerman led by Lord Florian... Oh, right, right. This is only because we've got a special interest. Yep, sorry. Don't care. All right. Let's get back on the boats and let's just land here instead. That way we're not taking a horrible straight crossing into him. Again, that's probably way too cautious seeing as we outnumber him four to one. But it's still worth it. There we go. That's what we wanted. And we will make you my ward. And we will also name you our successor. Um, I don't know why it's not giving out all these honorary titles, though. Let's try giving out a couple more here. There you go. Uh, high Judge. Whoever. I don't really care. You'll do. Um, right. That's everything there. So I want to go back to minor titles. That's why I was there in the first place. We want to resign you as my designated heir and name our newborn baby son. Wherever he is. There he is. Lodos. Is now our heir. No, that's not right at all. I picked Lodos. Maybe it's because he's a tiny baby. Understandable. By the Volmark. Did, who's he just capital? Why is that showing up besieged? Oh, right, because we have a castle there, I see. Um, well, let's counter siege that for a start. And we'll just leave these guys here to take out the capital. Alright, problem solved. Well, that was an easy war. We're still making enough gold to not risk losing mercenaries, right? Yeah, and they haven't landed men in Lone Light or anything like that. They're just going to sit their fleets like every other war so far, menacingly. And after this, that should be over. Good news. Princess Rally? Who's she? My sister. Okay. You count as princesses now. There we go. Right, now we're playing as Lodos Hall. Oh, this also isn't their capital. Doesn't matter. It's still, still enough to give us the uh, victory. Alright, Arthur Peace and Force Demands. You know what that means? Let's revoke his titles. Although saying that, I imagine we are now immune to diplomatic actions, aren't we? Yep. Okay then. Well, if we can keep him around for... What is that? If we've got to keep him around for 10 years, then we can revoke his titles? Yeah, maybe not. Um, so... Let's do it. Let's abolish the council power. Domain size plus one. That will cancel out the negative we're going to get from holding that single extra province. Let's do it. Uh, do you want to let him bend the knee? We could have him forfeit Harlaw. Disappoint his former loyal bannerman. I could do that. 10% chance of getting patient. However, it does mean that we're going to lose fear. And we probably don't want him as a vassal anyway. Oh, he has the same religion as us though. No, you know what? He will forfeit Harlow. And we are going to take uh, an engraved sword from him as well, apparently. Alright. Can we revoke anything else? Is he still hostile? Nope. There we go. Uh, who else can we get rid of here? No, I don't want this guy around much longer. How many... Uh, still House Harlow. 13 living members. We could kill them off. Systematically, one by one. Actually, we're probably quite likely to succeed with that as well. Because a lot of our culture and our religion, our vassals, are going to start being the same as us. They're all going to start being Gilded River, Gilded Kraken. So, we could start rearranging the realm a little bit in our favour. Do we have too many duchies? I think we do, don't we? Yeah, yeah, we do. We've got way too many. Uh, Great Wick. Now, we hold, I mean, 66% of this. This guy, House Fairwind, is also the, our religion, just a different culture. Now, obviously, cultural conversion will be nice, but I think it might take a very, very long time. I'm tempted to give this land away. Let's wait for this law to pass. Um, increase the guard, obviously. Yep. Uh, hire additional guards. We can hire bounty hunters. No, just send them in. We're trying to deal with all of these uh, smugglers rings and whatnot. How long are they going to last? No, they're, they're just permanent, aren't they? All right. Got another mission there. Well, there's another one gone. Alright, absolute rule. There we go. So now let's sort our domain a little bit. Because we are still over. Uh, what don't we want to hold? I mean, Black Tide seems a little pointless. 
A levy of a thousand men. It's got a levy of fourteen hundred men versus thirteen hundred. Fourteen hundred. It's trying to hold the provinces with the most men. Yeah, let's give away black tide to somebody. Um, obviously our religion, our culture. What we could do then is use the intrigue menu to deploy a new courtier. Let's go uh, master of coin for that slightly higher chance at conversion. Uh, raise him to nobility. Do we have to do that, or can I just grant him a landed title? Uh, what do you want to give him, black tide? I think he actually becomes our house black tide if we do this. I'm gonna give him the city. I'm gonna give him the castle. It's just counting as the city because we are um. We are a merchant republic, so I just think that's the that's the terminology they use. Where is he? Uh, b -b 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 there is Ernie. Ernie, you are now the Lord of Blacktide. There we go. All right, awesome. Ernie Smith, classic Gilded River name of Smith. I think that might be my own fault because I didn't add any names to the cultures file because it's a subculture. I just assumed it would take on the Ironborn um, name set. Unless Smith is an Ironborn name, maybe. Oh no, my acquaintance died. Let's go ahead and clear off this list. Look, I know the people whose artifacts I'm going to steal. Empress of Yi-T there. This guy has a lot of pretty good just artifacts in general. Crown of Dawn, obviously Dragonglass Knife. Some books as well. We could really start stockpiling a library. Just for a generic art. This guy had a load of artifacts as well. Look at this. Shade of Evening, Shade of Evening, Shade of Evening. He's got 30 learning because of all the Shade of Evening. Apparently they stack. So I'm actually very tempted just to turn up and try and steal what we can. Just to buff up our learning that much. What do you need to that? You need to be a mystic. Which obviously you can get through the... Um, you could do that through the scholarship focus. So... I want your Shade of Evening. In fact, I didn't realise they stacked quite this much. That's really, really overpowered. Uh, sure. We could try and steal some. Glass Candle. Can you not use that? Power of Magic has not faded. So magic still isn't in the world. Which is a bit of a shame. Um, hmm. Maybe we'll send a boat after him next. We could just stockpile our own treasure over the course of many generations with tons of Shade of Evening. And just buff up our learning an incredible amount. It's less important in this mod, I suppose, because of the fact that there's no trade points. Trade points? Tech points, sorry. Let's go Reaving. And let's go to... Can we not invade Westeros? That's a shame. Uh, what about Slaver's Bay? A servant comes to you in panic. He says there's an intruder in your home. The thief is most likely after your goods. I'll intercept him. The thief in your home seems to be only a child. Um... We can try and catch him, but there is a chance we'll get wounded. Or we can scare him off. And he'll steal a gold. Yeah, just scare him off. Not worth it. Alright, this will be most profitable. I will captain her myself. Shall I take my flagship whore? Wow, I didn't know this was an option. And increase his raiding party strength by five. Absolutely. Yeah, we're going to be a captain on our own raid. Very cool. Alright. Let's do it, team. Squad up. Sunlanders spread disease. How are there even still Sunlanders? Where are they? They're nowhere. I mean, I don't know why these guys still exist. Normally they despawn when you... Actually, to be fair, the event only occurs if the Aztecs take landing. You, uh, uh, the event is uh, Aztecs are thrown back into the sea. So they didn't technically take any land. So I suppose we also can't get rid of them. Bit of an oversight. Iron board longships cut through the water swift and sure. Hence, we have pursued a small merchant fleet attack. Victory. Gold for me. Thank you very much. Got a son called Vicon. Not too great. We've had five children. So we could always now. Um, it's always the option of the business focus. There's always the option. What are our, what are our ambitions here? So we can Paragon of Virtue for a thousand uh, piety. Would also give us the moral authority we might need. And flip this over from the dominant culture to the... Uh, sorry, the flip it to the dominant religion, I should say. See so our house on the Iron Throne. Adopt a lifestyle. That seems like a pretty good one. Let's go with that. Gives us more chance of having events like uh, the Valkyrie and the Poetry one. More chance of becoming a duelist, game master, things like that. Who do we want to be our priest? Uh, we've got no good priests again. Uh, let's go ahead and buy a new courtier. Well, I might have a special interest. We can ransom prisoners. Who have we taken prisoner? Oh, right, okay, from the Rebellion, I see. Can we revoke it? No, we could just execute him, I suppose. Uh, execute Tyranny by 10. Maybe not in that case. Uh, who's this guy? Dagon? Dagon Grayson. Ransom him for 10 gold to the guy in our prison. 
Can we banish him? Send him to the wall or something? No, it's still tyrannical. Oh well. So we are completely in control of the council. Lose one intrigue. Not much longer until we can uh, obviously overthrow the Republic. I'd like to see slavery being brought back. That's a very traditional ironborn thing. We can bring back thraldom, which is sort of like slavery light. Diet slavery, if you want to look at it like that. Um, prisoners of war may be taken as slaves, but they may not be traded or purchased and their children are born free. Uh, it's kind of like indentured servitude, I suppose. Can we have full slavery? Oh, no, there is actually indentured servitude, so ignore me. Um, now, we don't traditionally practice slavery, so no. Uh, religion or culture don't do that. Uh, one of our vassals is engaged in it. No, we don't have that. So just one of these. We have to be a slave owner, slave trader, arbitrary, or a lunatic. So actually, we can enable full slavery if we become a lunatic. Interesting, okay. I'll, I'll bear that in mind. <laughs> that might be something we try and aim for. Price well paid. Now, do we want to keep a salt wife? Um, they do give us prestige, don't they? Why not? Let's keep them. Let's take as many salt wives as possible. Now, um, we can have, as with the base Ironborn religion, 20 salt wives. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to try and collect 20 of them. We've got a good son already, so I don't mind it messing up inheritance a little bit. Um, go for a now, do they count as bastards? or is it? I suppose they would just be child of concubines, wouldn't they? Yeah, all right. Obviously, it does make us slightly more likely to be assassinated or something like that because we do have a court filled with women who we've captured as slaves. Oh, shit. The wall is under assault and the Night's Watch is hard-pressed to defend it. They've called on lords of all the realms to take up arms and aid them in defending the realm against the dangers beyond the wall. Um, no? No, I'm not going to do that. They don't have boats, do they? My, pet, uh, my son, John. I didn't know I had a son, John. He's uh, lithe, apparently. Good job, Merlon. Let the raven begin. Successful raid. And another salt wife. Sure, she's actually a pretty good character. I'll take her as well. Or she was until we nerfed her diplomacy into the ground because of uh, taking her as a salt wife. Successful raid. Good work, team. No salt wife that time. Alright, what are our options then? We can send... Oh yeah, we need to employ a new drown man. Dagma, you are not good, but you're better than nothing. Proselytize. Uh, what do we think? Probably Pike would be the best option. My wife is pregnant. And we can rank up. Awesome. Deliver a trade good. Use the decision entry menu if you forgot your order. Okay. Um, so I assume on here somewhere is deliver. Show warehouse decisions. What does that do us? Hire guards. Oh, interesting. Okay. Um, what does that do for us? Just gives us something in our treasure. Okay, sure. Um, where's the deliver, deliver trade goods option then? I can't see it. Am I blind? Go to market. Uh. Okay, no, I'm pretty sure it's just not here. Friend, I can't help you. Use the decision in the intrigue menu if you forgot your order. Um, this might be a mod conflict, I assume. Why don't we, uh, hide them and reshow them? Maybe that would help. You know what? Let's not worry about it. <laughs> we'll, we'll cross that hurdle later on. Uh, by which I mean I'll have a look off camera. Alright, we're promoted to trader. Awesome. Now what can we do with being a trader? Use goods in a province and contact affiliated artisans. Right, so we can now deploy that... Uh, what was it? We had steel or something like that? Yeah. We can now deploy that in our provinces to buff up our troops by 10%. Might be worth just keeping that around, you know, in case uh, the Iron Throne, say, declare war on us, trying to get us back under the Iron Throne... If we have a big rebellion, not that I don't think we will. Maybe even when we want to try and take back the Trident. Might be worth deploying trade goods then. If anybody knows anything, obviously, about the trade guild, let me know. I'd be really interested to know of some of the uh, useful things to know about it. By which I mean features I can abuse. <laughs> Seems the Dragon does not favor him. My bodyguard has grayscales. Does not seem like a suitable bodyguard. Harlan Dagon. It's really interesting how many of these houses have actually survived. Why do you hate me? What have I done to you? Domain too big, too many held high lordships. Oh, right, yeah, shit. I forgot to do that, didn't I? Um, right, you know what, then? In that case, we'll stop here. I feel like this is going on for ages anyway. We'll stop here. I will um, do some admin work behind the scenes, see if I can work out how to actually do this trade guild option. Uh, I'll read into the mod a bit more as well, try and learn some uh, bits and bobs about it. We'll set up for next episode. I want to take back the trident soon. 
Hopefully next episode we can both overthrow the Republic and take the Trident. Probably in the reverse order, given the amount of time it'll take. But uh, it is fresh for the picking. And then obviously we're going to take Hall as our capital. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.